This video for those who are interested to know about how tax, how readable is the tax when you're viewing a, a virtual screen compared to, for example, a real screen via pass-through. Uh, so I'm going to talk about that here in this video. So everything you see here is recorded using the MetaQuest 3. I'm also using Google Fonts just to reduce the text size and see how, I mean, how small I can actually observe the tax. Uh, this is kind of a regular distance. I think it's like more or less, I think around two feet, uh, 60 centimeters. Of course, I went closer and backwards. I'm going to show you two things that actually affect the clarity of the tax, both in the virtual screen and on the real screen. So there are various important things you need to understand if you want to make the best out of it, make the text clearer, especially when it comes to viewing the virtual screen. And this is, of course, the software. I'm using Virtual Desktop, and Virtual Desktop gives you many different options to control the stream. So, for example, it's important to be connected uh, with high bandwidth, for example, preferably with a cable. You can see here you can choose the frame rate, um, the desktop bit rate, uh, all different options for you to uh, try to optimize so you're going to see everything as clear as possible. So various options to tweak it. Some, some people don't have a broadband fast internet connection. Uh, so if you try to use it, for example, over Wi-Fi instead of cable, it can affect the stream. Basically here it's uses to stream uh, the content over the local network. Uh, so I can use a cable connected to the router or I can use Wi-Fi. So software is one thing uh, regarding virtual screen. The other thing is that uh, the closer I get, depends on text size. If the text is small, uh, in my case, if I sit like again, the same distance that I mentioned, like two feet away, around 60 centimeters, I can see, for example, the eight pixel size font. I need to put it in 12 and then it becomes, uh, I mean, I can read it. It's still not super clear, but I can read the text. Also, of course, it depends on the contracts of the tax, but if I'm just talking about black and white tax, clear tax, what you see here, this is where I can try to benchmark really what is the limitation when I actually have a very clear tax with high contrast. The other thing that uh, helped a lot uh, also in terms of comfortability is, uh, well, changing, for example, the size of the screen. Because it's a virtual screen, you can actually uh, increase the screen size as well. You can make it even it curved, so make it much easier. Now we can actually understand why curved screens are so comfortable because once I do it, it's just easier to read through uh, without actually moving my head. So again, with visual screen, it's much more comfortable because you can really adjust it to your liking and get to option to clearly see, for example, subtitles when watching movies or YouTube, watching a YouTube video. You just have the option to enlarge the screen and of course play with some parameters in the software itself, depends which one are you using. Uh, in order to make it clearer. But overall, it's very clear. I mean, the Quest 3 has a, a pretty sharp screen. Uh, yeah, and you can definitely see it even when you are looking at sharp text. I mean, small text, sorry. You also, by the way, speaking of sharpness, you have the option to increase the sharpness as well, which of course, in some key situations can help uh, to make it clearer and easier to read certain texts. If, for example, you can see that I'm changing the, for example, the curve of the screen, making it much easier to read through. I don't need to move my head a lot, so kind of a surrounds me very comfortable. Uh, I mean, the moment you do it, you realize, wow, this is just great. Now, if you want to do mixed, and uh, I'm sure there are plenty of people who are interested about that, if you want to mix between the real world and pass through, uh, which is, of course, significantly improved uh, with the Quest 3 uh, cameras. Uh, you can position, of course, the screen near your real screen, which you're going to see mine in a moment. So you can just position it here, for example. Or I can position it at the top. I mean, whatever I like, right? It's, you have the freedom. But you can already see the differences. And actually, that's what I saw with my own eyes. You see that uh, I'm going to change, by the way, the brightness even higher than what I have here. And also, I increase the light, the ambient light in the room. I'm going to show with you, of course, the differences. Nonetheless, it still doesn't come close to the brightness. Now, it depends, of course, on your display. If you have a bright display, very bright display, you might uh, see something different. I mean, higher quality because the contrast will be higher. It really depends which screen you're actually using. 
Of course, if your monitor has lower resolution, don't expect, of course, any magical thing that uh, may be with AI in the future. But right now, of course, uh, things do get worse when you view it from the Quest. So high resolution screen, of course, would be better. The other thing I noticed and interesting is because, again, it uses the camera to, of course, uh, put a stream of the real world using pass through. Uh, the aperture, when I open the light, uh, look what happened. Basically, uh, everything gets darkened because there's probably a dynamic aperture there that closes to allow less light to come in. So when I do open the window, it actually gets, the screen screen gets uh, darker as you can see. And therefore, readability also getting impaired. And this is because, again, the apertures opens up when there is less light to allow more light to come in and therefore more light gets into the sensor and uh, it, the content appears brighter. I mean, the same thing works with any regular camera. And this is why, for example, with mobile phones, you have uh, fast aperture uh, cameras like f1.6, f1.8, because uh, when, you, when you basically records in low light, you want more light to, to get into the lens. And of course, there are other things like the sensor sensitivity and stuff. We don't get into it, but right now, uh, it seems like it's better to uh, do things in the dark rather than in a bright. So you might ask, okay, what happens if I have a screen, very bright screen? Well, based on my testing, I increased the screen, only single light source from the screen, and it actually appeared uh, brighter. Uh, but if I open the light from the outside, it's bright light, very bright light, the aperture closes and this is a significant difference and therefore everything gets darker. But of course, it's not only the cameras, the better camera, of course, would be better. Also, the screen inside the headset, the one that you actually see the content, the lenses themselves, all of these, if they are improved, you should see significant improvement. For example, if we were using an OLED screen with higher contrast, uh, you have better visibility, uh, especially when you're reading text. Again, that's what we have right now on the Quest 3. This will improve, of course, in future headset. But again, of course, there are other headset that have better specification uh, regarding that to improve productivity and give you better results. I'm just talking about the MetaQuest here. MetaQuest 3 in this particular video. Now, even if you have text like eight pixel size, in this case, in Google fonts, and uh, I can really understand it right here. I'm actually comparing what I can read and what I can't, what I can't read compared to the real screen and the virtual screen. Uh, so you can see it in a moment and uh, basically I try to enlarge. If you, if you can see even the eight pixels, but you get closer physically, you're going to see a significant difference in terms of uh, clarity. Uh, Again, this is because there's less information. Again, this is a video, right? And it's all compressed. So basically what happens, even if you use a high bit rate, uh, I saw that again, when I get closer, basically more details, you just present it better. Even if it's just eight pixels, I need to get physically closer and can actually read what's on the, on the real screen. I'm not talking about the virtual, the real screen. But I just need to get closer. Now I did connect with the cable as asked and increase uh, the desktop bitrate even to the maximum and uh, frame rate, play with the frame rate. Um, didn't see anything that's considerably significant that uh, when it comes to, again, uh, the clarity of the So if you ask me, again, if you have a bigger screen, uh, I mean, real screen, uh, a bright one, high contrast, uh, and you're sitting relatively close to the screen, you should have a uh, pretty good uh, clarity when it comes to text, reading text. I mean, I guess with optimal settings and optimal environment and, uh, you know, you can see the text pretty clear, even a small one. Again, if you sit far away, you might see that it's not that clear. So stay a bit close. And of course, if you have a bigger screen, you don't even to stay close, right? It's all about what you have. I'm using a 23 inch display here. This is a full HD one. So of course, this will uh, impair the overall results to some degree. I mean, it can be a big degree, depends on the screen you are comparing to. If I had like 65 inch display uh, and I'm watching like large text or just movies with subtitles, of course, it's going to be different. So my recommendation, don't rely on using both displays like physical and virtual. Use the virtual display like virtual desktop instead. I provide you very good qu uh, clarity overall. Uh, Again, depends on the distance. If you're just watching movies, for example, it would be great. If you want some more critical work, uh, it's still possible uh, to do it. Uh, but make sure, again, you adjust things properly uh, and the size, which you can do, of course, because it's virtual and you can do it. Uh, the question is where do you find comfortable and such. But 
the thing is that the clarity is very good. All right, so in this particular screen size, for example, I can see like 12 pixel in about two feet away. And that's my insights. Uh, probably didn't cover everything, but you know, that's based on my testing uh, today. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for watching.